Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances with possessive heroes. I love a good possessive man. I don't know about in real life, but <laughs> in romance books, I eat them up. So here are 10 romances with possessive men. I have Scarred by Emily McIntyre first. If you didn't know, this is actually a retelling of The Lion King, but it has like people and it's a darker romance. So our hero in here, Tristan, is our Scar character. And he thinks that his brother is a horrible ruler and wants to take the throne from him. He thought it was rightfully his anyway. And to kind of put a nail in the coffin on making him lose his title is by stealing his very beautiful desired fiance, Sarah. And they're a match made in messed up heaven. <laughs> um, this is a darker read, so please be aware of that. But I absolutely love this one. This man is all, all about her. He's like, I don't, I don't want to like you, but I can't help it. <laughs> and he's definitely possessive of her. Like he wants to make her his and not his brother's. Next, I have Mafia Mistress by Mila Finelli. This is a mafia romance and it starts out in a really interesting way. So our heroine is actually set to marry our hero's son. He picks her out because she's a part of a American mafia family and picks her out for his son. And I believe brings her over to Italy to get things rolling with them getting married. She's fairly young, I think she's 19. But then the dad, our hero realizes, you know what, I can't help myself. Like I want her to be mine. So I don't think she's gonna marry my son. <laughs> And there is a duology about them. The first two books in the series are about this couple. So you have to read book number two to get like a wrap up of them. But he definitely is possessive of her because like she was freaking meant to marry his son. And he was like, uh, no, she's mine now. <laughs> One of the most possessive men that I can recall is Reese from Twisted Games by Anne Huang. None other than our Mr. Bodyguard here. Um, I love bodyguard romances so much and this one was just fantastic. Our heroine is actually a princess and it's her age gap romance with her bodyguard and it's forbidden, but I love it. Reese is so protective and possessive of our heroine. What is it with men named Reese? Like it just, they, they're just amazing. They're amazing. So I love this one. If you love a like royalty romance with the bodyguard trope, like, and you haven't read this one yet, missing out. I have two books in the Perfectly Imperfect series by Neva Altaj. This series is a mafia romance series filled with um, people from the mafia who deal with mental health, have disabilities, whatever the case may be, like they are perfectly imperfect. This is Burned Dreams. This is book number seven. And Alessandro in here is not possessive of the heroine at all at first. Um, he's actually set to be her bodyguard, so another bodyguard romance. The only reason he is hired be is because her husband, who is this big mafia boss man, believes that Alessandro is gay. He does not want any man looking, touching, doing anything to his wife. And so Alessandro gets the gig so easily and the mafia man has no idea that um, Alessandro is actually wanting this job so that he can get close to him and kill his wife because he did the same thing to him all those years ago, but he's not connecting the dots. So he's responsible for Alessandro's wife dying many years ago. But once he meets our heroine, he realizes she is not in this marriage willingly and is physically, mentally, verbally abused by her husband. And that's why he's so controlling over her and he becomes a very protective and possessive over her. It's a great read. I love this one. I love honestly, like any bodyguard romance, like I'm, I'm easy to please with those. Then I have also book number eight in the series, which is Silent Lies. This is also an age gap romance. It's a arranged marriage. This one is an opposite to tract romance. Our two main characters are a part of mafia families. I think the hero is a mafia a boss of a certain family. They've been put in this arranged marriage to unite their mafia families, um, but the heroine actually has a secret other mission in mind. Her mafia boss from her like original family is like, hey, I want you to marry him, get all the secrets you can. She starts to fall in love with him and is like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Little does she know that the guy just like knows right off the bat that she's there to spy on him. So it's not that big of a deal. But with mafia men, you're gonna get this possessiveness all the time, I feel like in mafia books. I have another mafia one for you and this one is way darker than the other ones. Um, this is Until Tomorrow Comes by Adelaide Forrest. This is the first book in the Beauty in Lies series. I've only read, I think, up to book number two, so I don't know how the rest of the series continues, but this man is so possessive 
of our heroine. <laughs> Ellie the hero is from Ibiza and he's a giant mafia boss man. And um, he is in Chicago visiting another mafia family. And he ends up seeing this like 16 year old girl walking down the street with her friend one night and is like, uh, she's mine. That woman is gonna be mine. So he has this whole plan set out for the next few years until she turns of age to have her be his at the end of it. It is so possessive. I will say this series is very dark. I think either in this book or the next one, he becomes so possessive over her. He, he brands her. So <laughs> just please be aware of that going in. <laughs> if you want a contemporary, like a little bit lighter <laughs> read, this is Rain Me In by Kayla Gross. If you couldn't tell, this is a cowboy romance. <laughs> um, it's the first book in the Cowboys of Nighthawk series. Our heroine um, is visiting her family ranch. She hasn't been there in a few years, actually, ever since her brother died, because it just opens up old wounds for her brother's death. But her mother recently got in like an accident and like she's fine, but she can't really help around the farm and do farm chores and stuff. So she's come to visit and help out and the first night she's there her dad like convinces her hey you want to come to like the country western bar with me and she does and she bumps into her brother's best friend who is our hero named Gavin and things don't really start off on the right foot um with them again bumping into each other um so he was her brother's best friend her brother was younger than her so Gavin is younger than her and he always had a huge crush on Blake our heroine he kind of puts his foot in his mouth when they come across each other again and so he kind of has to like grovel and be like give me a chance but he becomes so possessive over her especially when like other men are trying to hit on her he's like uh-uh that's my woman <laughs> if you want a fantasy romance i have prize of the warlord by rebecca f kenny this one our hero is like this barbarian war gladiator ruler and he ends up kidnapping our heroine who is a princess and daughter to the man who stole his lands and he kidnaps her and puts out a ransom letter and i was like i'll give you your daughter back if you give me like my lands back so she has to stay with him and his people until her dad agrees to the terms. While she's there, she ends up falling in love with the people and with him specifically, even though he's this big barbarian dude. Uh, and there's also great um, chronic illness representation and food allergies, like food allergies in a fantasy book. Like, uh, yeah. Um, but the hero becomes very possessive over her, even though he does not want to. He's like, I have to return you because I need my lands back. You are not worth more than these lands to me like my people need these lands but then he slowly realizes and figures out that he's in love with her and would do anything for her <laughs> including giving up those lands so um yeah it's a really good fantasy romance if you want more of like a low-key one without like magic and stuff i recommend this one and lastly i have two alien romances of course it would not be my channel without two alien romance recommendations. First is one of my favorite books of the year. It's his Ruling Sick Fan by Victoria Aveline, one of my favorite alien romance books. I freaking love it. Our heroine gets in a bind. She's a human woman on this alien planet, gets in a bind with these people. And um, it's kind of like, not kidnapped, um, kidnapped by them, kind of, like held there kind of for ransom with Sikthand and his people. Sikthand is the ruler of his land. This is a part of the Clicanian series by Victoria Aveline, and in all the, all the other books in the series, you've got to see how high tech these people are and the new fascinating technology that they have, um, but Sikthand and his people actually don't have any technology whatsoever in their area because they ride these like dragon creatures like as transportation and the frequency of technology like really affects them negatively and so they don't have any technology at all which i think i prefer those alien romances honestly because <laughs> again barbarian-esque love those in my romances <laughs> my alien romances in order to i guess like unite the humans and the aliens they get put in this arranged marriage by sick fans like court of people they're like oh you should probably marry her dude but even before that point he becomes like so possessive of her like i'm obsessed with him like he literally has this two-way is it called a two-way mirror one-way mirror into her like apartment that she's staying in by his rooms and he literally has a chair there and just sitting watching her and she doesn't know that he's sitting there watching her <laughs> he just wants to look at her all day long he's like why do i want to just stare at this human why? It's <laughs> because he's obsessed with her. <laughs> and lastly, I have Taken to Sessor by Elizabeth Stevens. This is book number three in her Severing Mates series, which is an alien romance series that I love. This one, um, our hero is like a Naga 
creatures, so like a snake creature. He ends up falling for a human woman on their planet. They are Fade of Mates, has the Fade of Mate trip. That's all I can really tell you. I don't wanna say anything else, but he is so possessive over her because he realizes that they're Fade of Mates and Fade of Mates aren't really a thing with his people anymore, like at all. So he just becomes like violent towards anyone who comes close to her. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some possessive heroes and romance books. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me. What emoji should we do? Do the um, apple emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.